Hey guys, so I'm back. I decided to go ahead and make the second one. Um, like I said, there, my cousin asked me to make, um, and she wanted two, one for her, one for her neighbor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Oh, I really burnt myself. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a nice little bubble. Um, so I've got the two brown glitter leaves this time and I've got some different ribbon with green leaves and a bunch of flowers and picks the welcome sign in green and this time I'll throw these down here to get them out of my way and this time I'm gonna do poofs, 10 inch poofs. So we'll go ahead and get that started. And I realize I think this wreath is a little bigger than the other one this form. That's okay. We are just gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm just gonna attempt anyway. <laughs> to uh, secure the beginning with the zip tie that I had facing the wrong way. Okay, I think I got it now. that started and we'll just go around making our poofs and hopefully we've got enough on this left because I'd hate to have to get to the end and then not have enough that would be aggravating I'd figure it out but I don't want to have to <laughs> so hopefully this is enough Anyway, just make your poofs and fluff them up. All right. Oh, so I don't think I mentioned, or I don't think I did. Um, I don't know about any of the rest of you. But during the whole quarantine, COVID situation we have going on in the world, I have gained the COVID-19 weight. <laughs> um, I think, you know, the COVID-19, kind of like the freshman 15. Yeah, I did. And um, I think it was mostly in the first couple months because you know I was home literally not leaving the house for any reason and the house was totally stocked with food so I ate <laughs> but uh I have good news about that I cut it out and decided to try to get it back off so so far, I'm seven pounds down, and um, I've been going to a track at a local park and walking anywhere from five to, well, the most I've done is nine miles, um, but usually somewhere between five and seven I do, and I've been trying to walk five, uh, six days a week and rest on Sunday, and um it's working. I'm pretty much a, I've always seen inches before pounds. So I think I've lost more inches than anything, but I'm just glad to see it going, period. And I haven't been doing a diet per se, but of course, you know, trying to stay away from carbs, not completely, but way more than I had been anyway. So, just thought I'd share that. All right, so we just 
just gonna keep making our poofs going all around and then just fluffing them out. So I'll go ahead and finish all of our poofs and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I already added our sign to the center, as you can see. And I wanted to do that so that you didn't have to sit through everything. I'm trying to make this one a little shorter because it's the same sign, just a different method and some of the same, basically the same, um, what am I trying to say? The same florals and picks and stuff. But just wanted to show you what I did a little different with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of our flowers. And I probably should stand because I can see better. stand I can see what I'm doing better that way I'm gonna put the leaves back on that way I can get better placement when I'm standing so you can see better, sorry. I'm just gonna add some of our pretty, I love these big orange flowers. I think they're so pretty. And the difference in this one is, is I'm not adding the pumpkins. I didn't want to make them exactly the same. So this one is a little different. I don't know which one she's going to pick and which one she's going to give to her neighbor. But we shall see. Put these up here. So I know what I'm doing. Okay. So let's get these big leaves added. We'll try to make this not as long as the other one. what I'm gonna do the ribbon is go ahead oops this like this ribbon. It was given to me by someone I had made a wreath for. And I guess she used to craft but doesn't anymore. So she had a box of ribbon that she gave me with all different 
types of ribbon and some leftover scrap ribbon and stuff, but some pretty stuff that I can add to things. And if you guys do any wreath making, you know, ribbon isn't cheap. By any means. Don't always want a bow. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I think they're just a little too much. And sometimes they add just that thing you were missing. Depends. I think that adds just the right bit of color in there. It's going to be really pretty. I don't know how she's going to choose, guys. Maybe at the end you can let me know which one you like better. Because at this point, I don't even know which one I like better. Pinching these here, just adding them around the outside. Oops, we have my little piece of pipe clean up. Oh, there it is. side as well. I also have to do a cross for someone for their father's burial site and um I've done one before, and that was a floral one. So this time I'm going to do one um, using the nautical rope cross. So I'll be doing that soon for you guys. It'll be the first time making one of those. I actually need to make two of them because someone else asked for one also. So. I'll video when I make that one. I think this adds just enough ribbon. putting these off for a while and I think because I figured oh they're fall wreaths I wasn't in any great rush to get them done but the heat oy, the heat's been terrible but today we got a break it's overcast and I don't mind <laughs> and I've been doing my walks outside at the track with no tree cover in those 90 whatever degrees days we've had in a row 
been out there walking in that. And it is not easy, but I bring a gallon of water. And with every lap, I drink water. So I stay hydrated, but I tell you, it is hard in the heat. All right, let's see. We're going to add this one over here. Then we'll add a few more flowers and a pix, and then we should be just about done with this one. Turn it around and show you guys real quick. So that's what it's looking like. And like I said, we got more flowers and picks and stuff to add. So let's get some of these off of here. Add some yellow flowers, guys. Gonna be really pretty with all the little flowers. Just tuck them in. And we still have those big orange ones too. But I see plenty of places for everything to go. I think I'm gonna add. Let's see. Oh, those are the same ones. I think I'll add these. A little bit of different color. This is really pretty. I don't even mind it without the pumpkins, to be honest. I don't know how many more flowers I'm going to add to this. Do I see a spot? I guess we can put you right there. And I see a spot where I need some ribbon. Hold, please. Let me fix that situation over there. There. I might cut that or add a piece of ribbon, I'm not sure. Let me figure out these pick situation real quick. Let's see. If I have the leaves over there. And I can do the pick. I know. I got it. So I'll add 
this right in here. Just mark. Just gotta work these leaves around the flower. That as well. There. Perfect. And then I can add one down the bottom on the other side. where I want it so I don't have to fight with it after. I know exactly where I'm going to stick this one. Right in there. In there. Uh -huh. Try to get it. I could use a couple more pieces of ribbon and then I think we're done, guys. I don't want to do too much, but I think I'm going to see if I can do with some more flower right there. Some more ribbon. I think two more pieces of ribbon and I'm all set. Yep. It's an empty spot right here. Another flower wouldn't have been balanced, so. Turn the tails out. That looks better. Thinking one right over here, then you should be good. I love it. need to coat that, chuck that out the way, clip this, and I might just add another flower right down here to the bottom, it looks a little bare right there. That's why it's good when I stand, because I can see better. If I see any other spots, I don't think so. I think we are finished here, guys. Yep, I'm satisfied. So this is our finished product. And I think it came out really cute. I think she'll be happy with both of them. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope you like the two fall wreaths, similar yet different. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And I promise, like I said, I won't take that long to come back because I have other orders that I need to fill. <laughs> so I'll probably be back with the cross, I believe, next. All right. Everyone have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon.